Hey gang, it's Stephanie, a dog trainer with Peace of Mind Dog Training. I was hoping to do this video live, but I'm too far from my house, so the internet said no. Or Wi-Fi, whatever. You know what I mean. Any, anyway, so what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is I'm going to be working with Rocky here. He is currently attached to long line in his buckle collar. I do have him fitted with a prong collar that he will be getting introduced to today. Pressure release, and I'm going to show you that process. So here we go. First, let me actually show you guys his setup. Currently, I have him just on his regular leash here, or collar, I should say. But you can see he's got his prong collar on, nice, high, and tight. Um, I'm actually not a stickler for placement, believe it or not, a trainer that's not stickler for prong placement. But for him, I have it high and tight because he is an incredible puller. Um, I did some of this pressure release work with him on a slip lead, and he could really care less. Um, we got some progress, but I want to make things really clear for a dog. I don't want to leave things muddled. And he's really used to pulling and dragging his owner. So for him, that pulling works. So to make things clearer, I've added the prong collar. And that's what he's going to get introduced to today. So as you can see, he's got his prong collar on. His, and then I have a carabiner here that is hooked to the dead ring. So there's a, le a ring right here that I will hook this leash to. It swivels. So if he spins, it's fine. And then I have the carabiner here, hooked on the dead ring, that's the one that doesn't spin, hooked to his regular collar. Now I have never had a prong collar pop off on me, but I have had it or heard of it happening and I'm just not going to risk it. So let me go ahead and switch the leash over to his prong. Give me one second, I'm gonna set y'all down. Here. See if you guys can still see us. <laughs> This guy's tons of fun, uh, having a lot of fun with him already. Um, he is a little nervous outside, it's kind of funny, big tough guy. Leaves blow by and touch his butt and he panics. So I have no pressure on the line right now, but when he starts to pull, I'm just gonna, a little bit of pressure. And I'm level with the dog here, right? Good, good. And I'm just standing still, I'm not popping, not pulling. He goes, he wants to go in that car. <laughs> he goes ahead again. I'm just going to stop. That pressure's on. Good. And I'm marking it with good and movement because he wants to move. That's his reward. Good is the marker, letting him know that's what I want. And I'm marking the moment that he turns to me. Good. Right? With commitment. Don't just look at me. Get to me. Right? And as he starts to move towards me, I just turn and move the other direction. Right? So now here's a problem. The line is under his chest. Right? So something I can do is kind of distract them there. There we go. <laughs> so I can fix my line. Yeah. Here he is. He's <laughs> checking out the leaves. He'll probably get spooked here in a second. He's pretty funny with these leaves. He does not like them blowing around. <laughs> okay, so pressure's on. And I'm just waiting them out. Good. Pressure's on. Good. And we move. Now, Real quick, I hope you guys can see me. Um, when I'm holding my long line, I'm letting most of it just drag behind me. I'm not trying to bunch it up. That causes a lot more problems. I just have my hand on the line so when he moves, it can float. I can grab it if I need to. And with my other hand that's holding the camera, I can kick the slack out, reel it in, what have you. And then while I'm holding the line so it doesn't get tangled all under the dog, I'm trying to keep a little bit of a slack J here in this line, but I'm holding it kind of like shoulderish height right now. So I can make sure that line is up and he's not going to step on it. Because again, I'm trying to be as clear as possible. So if he's stepping on the leash and correcting himself, that's not very clear. If he's getting tangled in the leash and now the pressure is coming from other places, that's not very clear. So the only time I'm going to apply pressure on the line, right, is when he pulls and I have it above that shoulder and he's not stepping on it, right? That way I can get nice and level like this, add pressure, good, and we move. So again, I'm holding it kind of high. I'm letting it flow out of my hand a little bit. If I need to, I can stop it. Pressure's on. Good. <sighs> And our walk's not really going any direction right now, right? I'm just taking opportunity when he goes ahead to stop. Pressure's on. We're waiting, waiting, good. And moving, 
right? And I'm backing up and moving. I'm exciting. I'm creating movement in the dog. So I'm not just standing there stagnant. That's not very exciting, right? I got to be more exciting than all these leaves that are blowing around and all these bunny smells and whatnot, right? Pressure's on because these are our neighbor's houses. Good. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> but if I'm just trying to get this dog to come to me, I'm going to untangle him here because I do not want it under his legs. If I'm trying to get him to come to me and I'm just standing here like, good. I wouldn't go to you either. You're boring. You want to be exciting. So what he's seeing is as soon as I add that pressure, matting pressure, good. Yeah, let's go. And we're moving. Okay. Be exciting. Be something the dog wants to work for with all that. Good. Let's go. Good boy. Oh, pressure's on. Good boy. Let's go. Starting to get what what all that pressure means, right? Good job, buddy. See, that was beautiful. That's what I'm start want to start seeing is where he just barely taps the end. Good boy. Barely taps the end of that line and comes flying back to me. Good boy. Look at you. You're a smart man. Right? And he's not upset about it. Not shut down about it. He's working, figuring it out. His brain's going to be nice and tired for me. That's what I want. Good. Good. And as he gets better with this pressure release stuff, good. <laughs> I'm going to introduce it with recall. Um, eventually I'll be shortening this line up so that he's actually having to walk next to me, right? Good. And that'll probably happen over the next couple days, seeing how good he is, how well he's responding. Let's do a few turns. Good. So now that he knows how to turn the pressure off, we've seen him do it. I'm going to start asking him to do more. I'm always expecting more from my dogs. Good. So now I'm expecting him to turn with me. Good. So he runs ahead. I'm going to stop and turn. Good. And then I'm going to stop, turn. Good. So I'm not waiting till he hits the end of the line. Good. I'm waiting until he blasts past me. Good. And then I'm just turning. Here he comes. <laughs> If he hits the end of the line, well, shouldn't have blasted past me. Good. But what I'm wanting him to do is that. Nice loose leash, right? Let me straighten us up here. We got too loose. There we go. Do a little turn. There we are. So we're walking. I want to be able to turn. Good. And he's coming with me. He's not hitting the end of his leash. <laughs> you got to work on sides here, buddy. And we'll stop. A little pressure. Good. Good. So he runs past me. I'm going to turn. Good boy. He runs past me. I'm going to turn. Good boy. And pretty soon what you're going to see is he's going to start turning with me. Right? Here he comes. Nice. Let's go. Good. And I'm going to turn. Good. So all I'm doing is waiting for him to run past. Beautiful, good boy. Runs past, I'm turning. Beautiful, good boy. We've had quite a few turns here. Good, where we haven't had to do any pressure, right? He's putting it all together. He's a problem solving man. There you go, nice, he even fixed his leash. Let's go, such a sweet guy. So here we go, that was his first introduction to pressure release. I think he's done a great job. Um, I'm going to set up this camera so you guys can kind of see what it looks like as we're doing it here. So apologies for a second. <laughs> so it's too windy. You guys blew right off the car. But I want to show you what our whole little dance looks like. So first I'm going to do pressure release and then I'm going to do some of those turns. Come on, bud. All right, so he's ahead. Pressure's on. Good. Pressure's on. Good. Now he's not pulling. Press it on. What I'm going to just start doing is I'm going to go ahead and just start to turning. Good boy! I'm going to just start turning back and forth. And what I'm going to turn is when he passes me. So I want him to learn when he passes me, he loses the handler and he might get a little pop on the line. Okay? What I'm looking for is for him to turn with me when I turn. So here we go. Oh, I dropped my leg. 
line. <laughs> I stepped on my line. There we go. So again, I'm waiting for him to run past, and then I'm turning. Good. Run past, and then I'm turning. Good. Run past, and then I'm turning. Good. And this is what we're trying to get. Right? A dog that's going to walk with me. Good. Let's turn. Get back in the frame here. <laughs> this was my end goal, and he's given it to me. You guys have seen the full video. Look how calm he's being and walking with me. Oh, what a love. Break. Good job, good boy. Um, you saw his whole video from start to finish on prong collar. And our last little round right there, he was walking in a heel next to me. So I'm gonna put him up on that, let his brain soak in that lesson. Um, I'm really proud of that whole little dance right there. Yeah, I, again, I'm really excited for his brain. We'll be doing some fun stuff. 